My next guest is very, very special. This is a company that has an amazing, amazing story. And they have some amazing products as well. One of their newest products is a Talking Yoda. And I asked Talking Yoda back in October if the Mets would win the World Series, and he said no. And then I asked Talking Yoda if Donald Trump would be president, and he said yes. <laughs> we have that on camera. And right now, it seems like Yoda's two for two, although it's not happened yet. Yoda is doing very well with his predictions. This company makes intelligent toys, fun toys, smart toys. But what their biggest toy that they've come out with is a toy called Paw Patrol. The company's called Spin Master. And in the last three or four years, Paw Patrol has gone from one little concept to a huge household name. Tara Tucker, is, Tara Tucker is joining us from Spin Master. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. You guys are, it's such a great story. The company is a great company. It's got a good history. But then you come out with Paw Patrol and... I mean, it takes you to a whole other level, doesn't it? It does. We launched an entertainment division back in 2007. Yeah. And that's where Paw Patrol originated was an entertainment property. It's the number one preschool show. Um, we air in 160 different countries and territories. It's wildly successful. And this is the, the next step is bringing the toys to life. So, okay. I want to talk about Spin Master's uh, history and, and the company and the great story, but you have Marshall on set, <laughs> and, I, and I really just want to see Marshall in action, so let's, let's do that first, sure. and then let's talk a little bit more about the company. Patrick here is nice enough um, to, to you know, be next to Marshall with a microphone. Do you remember when, when I interviewed Yoda, by the way? Yes. Do you remember when I interviewed Yoda? Of course. And we were like, we were joking, would Trump be president? And he's and like, yes. yes. And we're, the Mets going to win the World Series? And the Mets weren't in the World Series yet. And he said, no. All right. So this is Marshall. And uh, this is the newest member of the Spin Master uh, team as far as products. And Marshall is one of the you know, most popular uh, Paw Patrol. He is. He's one of the favorite characters. It's interesting how all of the characters seem to relate pretty equally with the audience. Now, last year you showed me a dinosaur that belches exactly. and farts. Exactly. And is a lot of fun. And, this, and it looks like it's very similar technology with Marshall here. It is. This is the same uh, division, our Zoomer division, which won Toy of the Year last year. And we took the top technology within Zoomer and studied the play pattern of the of preschooler. And we made a very easy to use, fun, interactive robot that a three-year-old could master. I love it. I love I love it. This is awesome. And how do we control Marshall? Is, or does he just control himself? There's two separate ways. One is by pushing his head. And another way is by pushing his, the badge on his chest. And Oh, the badge on his chest. Now that's how you call the Paw Patrol. Now he's ready for a mission. So he will tell you what to do. So... Marshall just asked Pat to push him on the head, and he's going around. He's stuck on a, on a piece on set. Okay. <laughs> he's looking for Chicoletta. Oh, Chicoletta. So he will continue until he finds Chicoletta, and he'll ask you to do several, several things to help him. So pushing the head again. There she is. Now he just found wow. The other thing is to open the backpack, and you can actually shoot the little water guns. You can shoot the water guns? Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, <laughs> do the other one, Patrick. Look at that. Now, that's the thing that's been missing. Jack, my son. You have a son named Jack, too. Exactly. How's he doing? He's great. How's Jack? Excellent. Jack is phenomenal. Getting over a double earache. Hey, oh. Jack. Um, and Jack. Uh, and he loves Marshall, and he always says he wants to be able to shoot the water out. Well, so now great. he'll be able to. And they're... they're Obviously soft and yeah. safe. And I, I figured. Yeah. I figured those weren't going to hurt anybody. No, they weren't. So very, very cool. All right. So the company um, started Entertainment Division in 2007. About 2012, you guys come on the scene with Paw Patrol. Is this correct? That's correct. And, and it kind of blows from, like, right out of the gate, it blows out. out it resonates world. with both boys and girls, yeah. which that's a huge factor of the show's success. The other thing is it really resonates with moms. Moms love it. We actually started a mom patrol where we have over 12,000 members. You get exclusive information and deals. Um, it's all on the Spin Master website. Wow. I, I heard that um, Rubble is here. Is, is Rubble here? He came just for Jack. Can we? Your Jack. My Jack? Oh, 
Well, Jack's at home, but I mean, maybe I could I could shoot a little 360 video here, <laughs> and photo. Hey, Rubble, how you doing? Come over here, Rubble. Oh, look at this. And then I'm gonna switch this to video, and we could shoot a little 360 video with Rubble on set. It'd be super cool. So. This guy's walking around Toy Fair and Play Fair? Yes, we have several of our, our Paw Patrollers here. Wow, very, very cool. And uh, what if there's an emergency? Are they ready to go? What do you think? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Rubble, you are cute, you know that? I love playing, Jack and I play with you all the time. You don't know it, but we play with you all the time. And A both my Jack and Julia love you as well. The thing I like about Paw Patrol is that you guys have uh, real innovation with the show. Uh, you, it's real creative, but you also have life lessons and you teach the life lessons. Um, you talk about what life lessons you'll cover before the show. So if a parent isn't that tuned into the episode because maybe they're doing some things, mm -hmm. they can check out the beginning and they can talk to their child and say, hey, did you realize that in the episode, blah, 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 and reinforce the message. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. It's very true. It's it's how to teach um, everyone can be a hero. How did you guys think of that though? Because nobody's, I've never seen that before. We have focus groups. We have play centers where we actually watch the children engaging with um, whether it's the toys or actually what they're interested in. We test everything well ahead of the time. Um, and we look at developing an emerging pattern. So, being on the forefront of STEM, knowing that was important, now STEAM, and how we're incorporating uh, creativity in, in artistic play and um, in new ways, building, and we have the Bunchums, which won uh, Toy of the Year last night. Wow, congratulations. Yes, for the activities. And a toady. It won a toady, and then wow. we won our Ruffles second. Ruffles destroying the set, that's what he does. <laughs> We won our uh, second toady for our Mechanoid, wow. which is from the Meccano brand. It's the robot that you, you build. You had the prototype on set last year. Exactly. We were so impressed with that thing. That won Toy of the Year wow, for innovation. Yeah. Um, and we've had 63 nominations in about 15 years and 14 wins in the category of innovation. Wow. Which is really the DNA of Spin Master. That is amazing. So you guys really are all about innovation. How do you focus on it and drill down to innovation and what things are you looking to bring forward in the future? Inspiration can come anywhere and it can be as much as a, a technical item as taking the Meccano, formerly a Rector set, and um, emerging the newest technology and robotics into a historic brand like a Rector set. So you took a Rector set and said, hey, how can we make this more interactive, more engaging and better and you made Meccano. Exactly, so yeah. Meccano was the global name, sure. the international name, and so we decided to be consistent worldwide and go with the Meccano brand. Um, and then we incorporated the yeah. robotics and we actually had our engineers build their dream robot and that's how the Mechanoid came to life. On top of that, we have um, innovation as simple as the Bunchums, which are really like little burrs or Velcro okay. that stick together and that you can create anything you want using your imagination. So it's really that next step of building and creating. Janny's watching in Finland, and he wanted to know when the newest uh, member of the uh, Paw Patrol is going to be out and available in stores. You guys have a new member, isn't that true? We do. I um, would have to check on the exact date of well, release, time, especially. Time um, I would say by August at the latest. What's the new guy's name? We're, 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 we're not sure yet. Okay. Yes. I, got, I understand. <laughs> Look, I, let me see if I can get them all. I got Rocky. We're going to throw in Everest, who's, who's, who's yes. a new member. Sky. Okay. We got Sky. We got uh, Zuma. We've got, and I never know, is it Zumba or Zuma? I'm not sure. We got Rubble. Rubble on the double. Chase is on the case. Ryder. Marshall. Marshall, of course. And... Um, Oh my God, then there are the other, the mayor and the Chigaletta and there are all these other role players that I don't, you know, remember. Who's the guy on the fishing boat? You yeah, know? yeah. I don't know, but the, <laughs> but it's really, it's rubble on the double. Yeah. Chase is on the case. Chase is on the case. Rocky and then Sky. And, and you'll Zuma. see what what's really interesting is they're going on all new adventures. Yes. So we're launching um, a 
jungle episode and wow. jungle scene. So you'll have new um, products that correlate with those as well. And then we have uh, the Roll Patrol, so where you can start to create your own city and drive around your city. So uh, that's that's amazing. That's really awesome. There's a lot on the horizon with Paw Patrol. Yeah. Rubble, can I get a high five before you leave the set? How about that? Oh wait, we gotta we gotta pound it out, right? Wow. That's for Jack. Thank you so much. My son Jack would be, is so disappointed he can't make it. He would he would love to be here. He said, from him I say hello. Oh, we that's have fine. one other great item to show you. Well, I was gonna say that Paul Dixon from the UK, who's watching the UK, says Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Bring on the Star Wars. Is that the other item? I hope. We didn't bring our Star Wars item. We it's, didn't. You may have heard about it. The buzz is out. He okay. was released today. It is a life-size, it's basically being the, bringing the BB-8 to life. And I think you're invited to our booth and you'll be wow. able to see it. Wow. We're not shooting it on video as yet. It's okay. just been unveiled today. So I can today. take a sneak peek of the BB-8 to life, but we can't show it on video. Not yet. Maybe later in the week? I'll do my best. Okay. I'll try. If we can, that'd be great. If not, okay. I'll make a lot of phone calls, but right now it's it's that new. You're going to make phone calls on behalf of the Terrifics. I love it. That's awesome. All right, let's... Um, Star Trek, however... Star Trek. Well, and Star Trek is really gaining so much buzz. They're yes. in the 50th year. Yes. Um, we have the movie coming out on July 22nd. We have the new TV show that'll be out January 2017. A lot's happening with Star Trek. And you've got a Star Trek toy. We have a Star us. Trek item. Wow. Have you ever wanted to see the Enterprise fly? I've always wanted to see the Enterprise fly. It's in never fact, been able to fly. It's never been able to it's fly. It's actually been an engineering thing. Yeah. It's the it's weight impossible. is on the back. Yeah, it's, it's really, really hard to do. Yeah. Unless you have some uh, engineers over Who are at really Spin good innovative. Yeah, innovating are, rather, yeah. Pretty amazing. We actually have uh, specialized engineers that are amazing in so terms you guys, of aerodynamics. you guys also made the Millennium Falcon. Exactly. Yeah, that flew, which that was flew. not easy either. But that yeah. was a very popular holiday gift. All right, so let's see. Do we have a shot? Are we able to get a shot of this? Maybe we need to fly it on set. That's the one thing about wow. Spin Master and Air Hogs. We know how to fly. Come on, Patrick, bring it on. Oh, this is amazing. Watch look, those lights. Look how controlled oh, wow. it is. It's unbelievable. So this is a quadcopter. That it is flies a as easy as a quadcopter, and it's the Enterprise. Wow. It brings the magic of the Enterprise and Star Trek to That's life. Amazing. And it's never, ever been done before. Wow. He's good at that, too. Right on my laptop, almost. He's so good, he hovers right over the laptop. Mm -hmm. And he has real yeah. lights, and I'm calling it a he. <laughs> well, you know, if, if, if cars are women, then yes, the Enterprise should be a he, right? It has lights and sounds. And it's pretty it's cool. really authentic, and we're very, very excited about it. Maybe we can get it to fly a little bit more on set. That would be cool. Sure. Um, Patrick, if you want to fly a little more, you can. We'll let you fly a little more. Yeah. Um, so Is anyway, uh, talk about STEM and STEAM and STREAM and how important they are to everything you do and to really engaging the kids to not only play but to learn. Exactly. So the first thing is when we look at toys, it has to be fun for the kid. Number one, you have to enjoy it. The second is then where can they take that? How can they develop from it? Whether it's the Paw Patrol where it's being your own hero and empowering you to do good or it's um, the Bunchums building and creating the the Meccano. Um, we have another really, really exciting item that I'd love to tell you about, and it's the future of video gaming. Really? It combines the excitement and joy of flying a quadcopter with augmented reality. And, and can we, could, I have an idea. What yeah. if we came to your booth another day and we show it to our viewers so that they can actually see it? Because it, it's amazing, but I feel like it's one of those things that needs to be seen. It is. The augmented reality emerges your flying experience yeah. into a video game, and you're actually playing the video game. Wow. I would uh, love for you to come see it. Can we do that? Is, that? is that a good way to do it? It's a good way to do it. Yeah. It's so something what is you it have called? to experience. What's it called? It's Air Hogs Connect. Okay. And when's that available? That will be available in specialty stores in the fall. Wow. Just specialty stores initially. Very cool. So like hobby shops? Yes. 
That's very cool. And we'll be expanding on the line. There's more to come. Just imagine if your son was sitting in his bedroom flying. I know he's a little young. Um, no, I imagine it already. And my son is in his bedroom flying, and they're flying together within a video game. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is amazing. See, this is what I like is it's about teaching them how to, you know, to imagine further. It's you got engineering in there. You've got technology in there, getting them to actually physically play while virtually playing, while thinking, they're egg, egg exercising their mind. Mm -hmm. it, it's not all about free play. It's about actually doing things and achieving things and then being able to communicate with somebody anywhere else in the world. It's phenomenal. Thank you. That's really, really awesome. I love what you guys are doing. I really think Spin Master is an amazing company. Um, and you guys, I love what you've done with Paw Patrol. The messages are so good. What's that called again when it comes up in the beginning of the episode and tells us everybody can be a hero? Is that what it is? It's uh, no pup is too big, no um, challenge too big, no pup is too small. No, 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 no pup is too small, no challenge, challenge too big. big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need some more coffee. <laughs> You're doing, yes, you do. Well, it's a lot here. It's it's pretty yeah. terrific. We actually have 43 brands wow. this year, so we more than doubled. And uh, news just came out on uh, about a, a day ago that we just acquired uh, Etch a Sketch. Congratulations! Thank you. So the future That's of Etch a Sketch, what we did with uh, Meccano, yeah. infusing new technologies into a I historic legacy brand. You'll see that from Etch a Sketch. We're just going to come to your booth and show everything. Can we do that? I would love it. Please right. do. We're going to come to the booth and we're going to show everything. I think that'll be awesome. Awesome. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for talking about the industry a little, where it's going, talking about innovation and telling us the Spin Master story, which I think is really so amazing. I love how, you know, Spin Master has really just taken this really great product. I mean, a lot of great products, but this really, Paw Patrol, it's a really positive thing and taking it to the, you know, next level and it, it's exploded. And I think it's a testament. It's done so well because it's so important and so good. Can Rubble come on one more time or did he... He disappeared. Uh, he's, like on he left. he's on a mission. He's on a mission. He's on a mission. All right. He must have gotten the call. Yeah. Tara Tucker, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. She it was a pleasure. Master. I'm Michael Artis. You're the Terrifics. We'll be back right after this with a whole lot more. Your live continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2016. Stay with us.